Why do people set records? Simple, so they can be broken. This time though, the sporting challenge is tougher than crossing any finish line. Why? Two reasons, one human and the other technical. Fabio Buzzi is firstly an engineer and businessman, but he's also a race pilot and event organizer. In his long career, he's won 10 offshore world titles as captain, but as a builder, he's won a good 55 titles and definitely reached the point of having the most in the world of motorboats. The record that goes for a whole day will need a lifetime to be beaten, and for that to be done, a lifetime will need to be dedicated to research first, then development of new products and preliminary tests, which for us, in the case of this record, kept us busy for a year and a half. There are other races that last as long as his record, the 24 hours of ruin for jet skis, or the 24 hours of Le Mans for cars, for example, but they race on circuits, i.e. there's a route that they have to learn off by heart, plus there's assistance every step of the way, the pilots don't do the changes, and rest while the others are driving. It's nothing like that with this record, this one goes through the night too. Il record era di 22 ore e 22 ore se ne comportano almeno 8 di buio. Il viaggio della notte The record was 22 hours, 8 of which were in the dark. The voyage at night is possibly the most fascinating bit of the race and also the hardest part as you need to be really prepared from the human and technical point of view. For this, we've come up with a new visual system together with the company Starlight Italia. What that means is that we've divided the screen into two. So up above we can see a visor and a light amplifier, and below a thermal visor. Like this, the record has become an obsession, from which someone from FB Design even suggested, so why don't we attempt the record with two boats? which is how FB Design came to design its second incredible military boat. And here we are setting off from Monte Carlo, with two boats that have been checked over by the UIM inspector. The 11th of July. Fabio Buzzi and his team set off on the very new FB60 Only Tempo, 80 meters long, and as I said, destined for military use. And after 22 hours, 5 firsts, 42 seconds of sailing, it's arrived in Venice, having done 1,136 nautical miles, or if you prefer, 2,106 kilometers, and an incredible 52 knots. Per fare una barca come questa bisognava avere un'imbarcazione che fosse in grado di avere non più. To make a boat like this one, you need something that won't take more than six to six and a half kilos per horsepower. So we know exactly how much this boat weighs, which means that we need at least 3,200 horsepower. And MTU have supplied these two series to 2,000 10 cylinder engines, which means we've got two cylindered liters for every cylinder. So for 10 cylinders, it's 20 cylindered liters. They've got 1,620 horsepower each and are very modern engines, very powerful, very light too, and extremely well made. We haven't had any problem with these engines, which is the first thing that you need. In order to set a record, the first thing is definitely reliability. That comes before speed. These records are really the pinnacle of human ability, physically, but also, and most importantly, engineering-wise, and have brought some very special boats to market. It's quite sensational that a military boat has been able to beat already impressive records that were established in 2011 by Marco Invenizzi, who at the time was in a boat made to compete, with two 650 horsepower FPT Cursor 9 engines. Uh, la difficoltà di questo record è stata che 
il record precedente da battere era altissimo, cioè era stato fatto da Mario Invernizzi con una vera barca da corsa interamente in Kevlar. So the difficulty with this record is that the previous one was already tough to beat, i.e. it was done by Mario Invernizzi with a real racing boat, entirely Kevlar and very well prepared. We put the boat together ourselves, it managed very well with an awesome average of 51 knots. But now our boat does 60, so close it was almost impossible to beat such a high average. If you think that in between you need a petrol refill and there are always the unknowns, choppy water and other stuff. The attempt at the record is based on petrol consumption. Noi non avevamo la manetta libera, era bloccata in funzione del consumo. We didn't have free range. It was always locked to consumption levels because we knew we could go faster, but we wouldn't have had enough petrol to get through. With all the tests we've done though, our result has been perfect. We've been able to get there with two to three hundred litres of petrol left over. Not bad, eh? And then in terms of safety, sailing through night and day, even if that's with the help of your special technical instruments, you can still only do it with solid and unsinkable boats. Which is why this is the record of records, because it takes in everything that is important for a superboat. Speed, safety, stability, unsinkability and comfort. Fabio Buzzi, with a highly professional crew, including Mario Invenizzi, the FB design technician Antonio Binder, Stefano Gibelli and Eric Hunn, super technicians from the German company MTU, has established a new record, pushing the FB60 only tempo to be, without a doubt, the best performing rescue boat in the world. The next record is so many sono veramente tanti perché noi abbiamo avuto molto successo ad esempio quando abbiamo The records after that were really a lot because we've had a lot of success. For example, when we got the record in America from New York to Bermuda and we launched the boat that today, for example, has been taken by at least two or three marinas in the world, as we've proved that we can go for 17 hours across the Atlantic and three meter waves, which is pretty incontestable as Tesco e il prossimo record sarà mi auguro basato su un motore nuovo che stiamo sviluppando. The next test will be based on a new engine we hope that we're developing and on a new boat that we're developing too. It will be something extremely modern, extremely avant-garde in every way possible in what it's made of, the mechanics and especially the engine. Fabio Buzzi pilota e il voto sei meno, non uno di più perché sarebbe un'ingiustizia dato prima di tutto dalla venerabile età. Fabio Buzzi as a pilot, marks out of 10, 5 to 6, nothing more because that wouldn't be fair considering your age and reflexes, which aren't as fast as they were. That's why we do long distance records, that's the first thing anyway. The second thing, I've never been a strong pilot, I'm quite a good designer which for me is what counts. We make a technological product. Why though? Because if someone else did it, they'd also learn to make boats, not me. And from every record we do, we learn something new. And that's what you call experience. <laughs>